Oh yeah, yeah, hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, so Natlan is finally coming and we know everything, like most of the stuff of the Natlan. And the new changes are in say the better PT system for the weapons and the limited characters. They're giving us more wishes and finally of one free 5 star character every year. And now I'm very excited about the Natlan because they said that Natlan is all about the fighting and the battle. So we're gonna see uh, lots of lots of good DPS characters starting up with the very first DPS character coming up in the patch 5.0 is Kinchi. Kinchi is a 5 star Dendro male Claymore character and it's an on field DPS character. I, I just love Kinchi design. It's having a retro animation kind of things and it's basically a gimmicky claymo character because in the normal attacks in the skill in the elemental burst nowhere he's using the claymore he's some kind of using a gun shooting uh, without gun doing the normal and charge attack uh, elemental skill just hook ups to uh, hooks hooked up to anything you can use that elemental skill as a grapple hook you can uh, you know use it in the exploration and all Overall, he's based on the normal attack and the charge attack and also does a pretty good amount of damage in the elemental burst or so some kind of dragon just summoned over the enemies and he just keep on doing the damage to the enemies. So we are going to talk about the top 5 5 star weapon, the claymore weapons in the game for the Kinshi in the details. So stay tuned until the end guys. But yes, before starting up with the any weapon. We have a very like very few good claymores in the game. We have total of six or seven claymores, five star claymores in the game. So yeah, uh, it's very hard to find a five best five star weapon. But two, three five star weapons from this list is pretty good on Kinish. Starting up with the fifth weapon, Skyward Pride. So very old weapon, guys. I think most of the most of you guys already have this weapon. It's good on almost every character I think in the game, but not the best. It gives you base attack of 674 energy recharge of 36.8%. It's pretty good. The base attack is good and energy recharge is good on every DPS character because you can uh, spam the ultimate as much as you want. And the refinement ability increases all damage by 8%. It's good. After using an elemental burst or vacuum blade that does 80% of the attack as damage to opponent along its part will be created when normal and charge attack hits last for 20 seconds or 8 vacuum blades. Basically when you do the elemental burst it uh, generates a vacuum blade or you the or when you do the normal and charge it creates a vacuum blade which deals 80% of attack as damage. It's not the best it's pretty average weapon that's why I put it this weapon on number 5. Alright guys on number 4 is the red horn stone thresher i don't know if this weapon is good or not but i have used this weapon on number four just because of the crit amount of crit damage this weapon is giving i know this weapon is based on the defense and it's a signature weapon of uh, of a claymore dps character which is based on defense but guys this weapon is good only because of the crit damage it's giving you 88 percent of crit damage here i don't care about the refinement ability it's insane of a weapon having a 88% of crit damage. So just because this weapon having a 88% of crit damage and 542 base attack is pretty decent. I put this weapon on 4th number guys. It's not the best but damn that crit damage is pretty high. So on number 4 guys we have the Red Horn Stone Treasure. Okay guys so from now on the top 3 weapons are pretty good. You can just pick any weapon from these top three weapons. They are very good. You can pick any one weapon from these top three weapons. I'm not. Uh, I'm about to tell you these top three weapons are pretty, pretty good. On number three, guys, we have the Beacon of the Reach. See, Beacon of the Reach is a very good claymore in the game. One of the strongest claymore in the game with the base attack of 608, 33.1% of crit rate. And now the uh, refinement ability. Refinement rank is just matches with the kit of Kinich. It's just perfect. After the character elemental skill hits an opponent, their attack will be increased by 20% uh, for 8 seconds. Kinich can do that. You have to activate the elemental skill, then you'll perform all the normal and charge attacks so you can get the benefit out of this. After the character takes damage, their attack will be increased by 20% for 8 seconds. 
every character on the shield which is not protected by a shield or some kind of other protection will take damage so you can take a benefit of this after this two effect is triggered this two effect can be triggered if the character is not on the field that's not that's not going to happen with the kinich because kinich is going to be always on this uh, field because he's on field active dps character and then you can extra gain the 32 percent extra max hp by if your character is not protected by a shield so if you play Kinich without a Zhongli or Bezu, you can get maximum out of this refinement ability. But I'll suggest you can play Bezu with this weapon equipped on Kinich because uh, this HP uh, uh, HP buff will not benefit any benefit the Kinich, but the other uh, other things can get maximum out of your Kinich because you can get 40% extra extra attack percentage for your Kinich and that's going to be very very insane because uh, Kinich is totally based on the attack percentage. The higher you having attack on Kinich, the higher Kinich will deal damage on the field. So guys on number 3 we have Beacon of the Reed Sea. It's a very strong weapon having a higher crit rate compared to the signature weapon of Kinich. Alright guys on number 2 one of my favorite weapon in the game is the Wolverine Stone. Guys the amount of attack this weapon gives is just insane. I just can't I like guys this is one of the best clay mode that we have in this game if you manage to get the crit ratio crit damage and crit rate on Kinchi without a weapon this weapon is monstrous I use this weapon on my Navia and you can see my strat it's 66 190 it's just good like not perfect but close to perfect and my Navia gives a pretty good amount of uh, you know damage on the field because i am having 2572 attack here if the enemies goes below the 30 percent hp this attack goes further to like close to 3000 and my navia just start giving the damage like insanely crazy so guys base attack is 608 substrate attack is 49.6 percent you're getting Tons of tons of attack, 20% extra in the refinement. Then, if the character enemies goes below 30% HP, you'll get 40% extra attack. 60% from the refinement, for almost 50% from the attack. Substrat, it's a crazy weapon, guys. On number two, Wolf Gravestone deserve a spot. Number two, Wolf Gravestone. Cut. On number one, we have Fang of the Mountain King, the signature weapon for. Kenich is the signature weapon of Kenich having a base attack of 741 crit rate is only 11% like I literally don't understand why this weapon having the lowest crit rate in the game like why 11% is nothing like it's just nothing 11% here is just nothing but I think it is what it is but it's having a highest claymore base attack in the game like 741 is one of the highest I think for any weapon or any character Talking about the refinement ability is just whenever you whenever you perform elemental skill you uh, gain a one stack of canopy or favors. Uh, whenever your pa other party members triggers burning or burgeon reaction, it will trigger another some stacks maybe three stacks and you can gain up to maximum six stacks at a time and per stack like each stack will give you extra 10% damage to your elemental skill and the elemental burst but basically you can get extra 60% of damage to the elemental skill and elemental burst 60% extra damage of elemental skill and elemental burst through this refinement ability so you're getting 741 one base attack and extra 60% damage boost to your elemental skill and the burst but only 11% crit area. But overall, this weapon is going to be very, very good on Kenich. And it's one of the best, I think, only best weapon available in the game for Kenich at a moment. On number 5, we have the Skyward Pride. On number 4, we have the Red Horn Stone's Treasure. Just forget about these two weapons. Uh, on number 3, we have the Beacon of the Reed Sea. On number 2, we have the Bull Brace Chode. And on number 1, we have the Fang of the Mountain King. I hope you like the video, guys. If you think I said something wrong or I mentioned a wrong weapon in this video, you can just correct me in the comment. No problem, guys. Uh, 
otherwise you want to ask any question related to future of the jenshing or the current jenshing state you can ask me in the comment if you like the video you can hit the like button and guys just subscribe to my channel for more real jenshing related reviews in the future till then bye take care